Welcome to Basic Science. Coastal processes and its effects. Coastal processes. Coastal landforms are created by a wide variety of coastal processes. There are two major processes. Erosion and accretion. Erosion is defined as a group of processes whereby debris or rock material is loosened and dissolved. Coastal erosion is caused by destructive waves wearing away the coast. It continues to produce considerable property damage that requires human adjustment. These are the pictures of erosion. Ito ang mga erosion. Ang pag ng lupa o ng baybayin. Accretion is the gradual increase in the area of land as a result of sedimentation. Types of coastal hazard. Waves, sea level change, storm surge, saltwater intrusion. Waves are generated by offshore winds, sometimes thousands of kilometers from where the waves reach the shoreline. Rogue waves, gigantic and extremely dangerous waves. As waves move away from their point of origin, they sort themselves into sets of similarly sized waves. Occasionally, a rogue wave will appear that is much larger than the rest. Sea level change. The change in sea level is caused by a number of processes. Some operate locally and others affect all the world's oceans. Eustatic sea level, also known as global sea level. It is controlled by processes that can affect the overall volume of water in the ocean and the shape of the ocean basins. Eustatic sea level levels over decades increases hazards from storm surge and coastal erosion. Relative sea level. The position of the sea at the shore, which is influenced by both movement of land and movement of the water. Rapid changes in relative sea level contribute in coastal flooding and hazardous near shore currents. Storm surge. Storm surge is a local rise of sea level that results primarily from water that is suffused toward the shore by wind that swirls around a storm. There are two mechanisms that cause the storm surge during intense cyclone. Stress exerted by wind on the water surface and low atmospheric pressure in the storm the pool sea surface. A storm surge is not an advancing mole of water movies interpret it. Instead, it is a continual increase in sea level as storm approaches landfall. From normal high tide to a storm surge that is 17 feet tall. Salt water intrusion. So what is salt water intrusion? Salt water intrusion is the induced flow of salt water into freshwater aquifers caused by groundwater over pumping. What causes salt water intrusion? Salt water intrusion can occur due to neither natural processes or human activities in aquifers adjacent to the coast and on islands like the Gulf Islands. Freshwater floats as a lens above the salt water, forming a wedge that extends island from the shoreline. How to avoid salt water intrusion? You can easily avoid salt water intrusion by stopping making a well. There are two terms in salt water intrusion. First is groundwater. Groundwater happens water beneath the surface of the ground, consisting largely of surface water that has seeped down the source of water in the spring and wells. What is a crater? A crater are any geological formation containing or conducting groundwater, especially one that supply the water for whales, spiring and etc. A crater extraction. This is extraction show that two most common types of a crater: confined a and unconfirmed 
aquatures and unconfined aquatures can receive water directly from the surface while a confined aquator in trap between two layers of rock. This is how water moves in an aquifer. Water movement aquifers is highly depend of the variability of the aquifer. Material parable materials contains incorrect crack of space that are both numerous enough and large enough to allow water to move freely. Happens when groundwater levels in aquifers are deflated faster than they can recharge. The encroaching seawater will encounter an area known as the zone of dispersion, where the fresh water and salt water mix and form an interface. The result is that fresh water soufflés become contaminated with salt water. Effects of surf water intrusion. Effects of surf water intrusion. The limited potable drinking water supply in areas affected by surf water intrusion. Salinity and irrigation water can be decremental to agriculture, reducing yields and killing crops with low tolerance to salt. Effects of surf water intrusion. The result is that when the fresh water aquifer becomes contaminated with salt water, human daily activity, industry, forest ecosystem, wildlife, everything that depends on fresh water. Salt water intrusion is the intrusion of salt water over fresh water aquifers in the ground. Usually, it happens in the area that near with sea, and this cold affects human activity and wildlife that depend on fresh water in the area. Mitigation and adaptation of coastal hazards, evacuation plans and shelters. Whereas most governmental agencies, planners, and policymakers have an adequate perception and understanding of storm surges, many individuals do not. Of course, it is very important for us to make plans about our shelters and evacuation area for us to be ready and for our family to be safe. Relocating of people from coastal erosion and storm surge air prone areas could be an initiative by the government or residents of storm surge prone areas. This is very important for us to know where are we going when the hazards came. So we must really need to know this. Education. Educational effort could include the public distribution of pamphlets and videos, workshops and trainings for the engineers, architects, and the people of the community, and the availability of information on the internet. Of course, we have to educate our community about the importance of knowing these hazards for us to be ready, knowledgeable, and be safe. Prevention and control of salt water intrusion. Reducing pumping or using timeshare pumpings from a number of wells, relocating wells, or redesign the well field. Before we end our report, we would like to ask you a very simple question. What have you learned from let us know at the comment section below.